Hello again YouTube, Rob Wild here. This uh, video I'm about to show you really sums up uh, the reason uh, what the government is saying why uh, masks are now mandated. Um, and he says it all so very, very well. Take a listen. We're, we're in a situation where absurdly and, and ludicrously a government is ridiculously claiming that it is do, interested in saving lives and protecting people's health and is harassing a man with a, a health disability and dragging him into court because he refused to bend the knee to this tyranny. But also think, think about the fact that at the very height of this alleged pandemic back in April, there was no talk of compulsory masks. No. In all of May, when the, 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 the figures were dying away to nothing, there was no talk of compulsory May. Marks. In, in June, when there were no cases virtually at all, there was no talk of compulsory no. masks. Now, when it's all, it's all it's but gone. disappeared, it's gone. it's gone, it's gone. They are now bringing in compulsory masks. And the reason for that is they need visible evidence of terror. Yes. They need to create a visibility of the terror that they want to inculcate in the people. And that's why this is so important to them. These are really sinister people we're dealing with now. These are people that we previously thought of as people of our own kind, these politicians. We thought, well, we have to start thinking of them now as alien beings, as hostile beings to the Irish people. They are the enemies of the Irish people. Clearly, they are intent. Because the mask is a way of denying the very human face of the person. It is a way of taking away the individual, unique humanity of each person and turning us all into zombies and restoring us to a kind of animal state so that we no longer will look at each other coming down the street as Tom or Mick or Mary, my friend, my sister, my brother, but instead as a, as a, as a, as a, a festering mess of bacteria and viruses, which is a danger to my health. Oh! You know, I have to get out of the way. This is what they are turning the human person into with this, this whole thing. This is, and I'm not saying that our people are responsible for thinking this up. They don't have the brains for that or anything. But this is what they are implementing. This is the thinking behind it, to destroy the spirit of the human person, the individuality, the personality, the conscience, the character of the human person. That is what this project is about.